Yo! What's up, guys? It's me, your boy, B Variety. We're back here, guys, on the YouTube channel. We're playing some more of The Wolf Among Us. More specifically, Episode 4 in Sheep's Clothing. So if you guys are excited for today's video, make sure you like the video, comment or chat down below, and subscribe to the channel. Please and thank you. Helps the channel out a lot, and I would greatly appreciate it. But anyways, I guess let's get started on today's video. If you haven't watched the last video, I highly suggest you guys do so you guys can, you know, understand what's going on in the video game. But um, right now we are at the cut above, um, and in the last video we went to the lucky pawn. Two options that the player gets to choose from between which place they want to go to first. I decided to go to the lucky pawn. We had a whole little um, altercation with the Jersey Devil, and um, he revealed to us a little bit of information about um, the Crooked Man. Um, not really too much. We just know a lot of nothing about him, kind of, you know, um, if that makes sense. Um, but pretty much, guys, we, you know, figured out everything that we need to figure out in the Lucky Pawn, and that led us over here to the next location, the cut above, which is the butcher shop, uh, run and owned by Bloody Mary, I believe. And um, we got to go here because uh, Bloody Mary has Crane, and Crane should have the missing piece of the magic mirror. So we're gonna go to go ahead and just snag that up from him. But something tells me that it's not gonna be easy to do that. So. Um, honestly, guys, if we're gonna have to freaking kill Bloody Mary, we may have to effing kill Bloody Mary, alright? Might have to put an end to her freaking little honky-dory nursery rhyme shenanigans, you know? Haunting all these teenagers all throughout Fable Town. So, um, we're gonna just go ahead and do that, guys. So, um, yeah, uh, let's, let's just start interacting with everything. Um, let's check out the cold drinks first, shall we, my friends? I'm over here taking a hot drink right now. And yeah, it looks like no one's here in the store. Not a peep. Not a whisper. Ticket reel? Huh. Empty. Either he's got a whole lot of customers, or he doesn't have any. I'm thinking the latter. Right. Yeah, there's no one in here. Frozen meat? Yikes, that shit looks rotten. Not very appetizing. Coming from frozen a wolf? Solid. That I'm don't sound good. This. Yeah, coming from a wolf, that don't sound good, you know? Um, you know, I don't want to ring the bell. That seems pretty dumb. So let's just go through the counter. We don't want to alarm anyone. Oh, who's this? Bigby Wolf? Uh-oh. Who's this guy? What happened to you? I'm looking for a piece of the magic mirror. Um... What? How do you know anything about Mirror's it? Mirror's missing shard. Where is it? Bloody Mary brought it here, didn't she? What? B Bloody Mary? Magic mirror shard? <laughs> what kind of place do you think this is? Don't bullshit me. I'm not. What you're looking for, I, I think you'd be better off looking at uh, the Lucky Pond. Yeah, or someplace like that. You know where it is, right? Uh, it's been the there already. I'm checking your place now. out. I'll bet you get lucky Fucking there. Fucking cooperate. <laughs> I, I, I guess that's why they well, call I'm it. checking your place I'm gonna out. I'm going to take a look around. You don't mind. I... Sheriff, I... Did you hear that? What? Oh, I'm real sorry. Hold on. I, I just got to go uh -oh, check Oh, he on pressed that. like some don't sort of anywhere. SOS button. Right Butcher? I just have to go see. He pressed some sort of SOS button. We're going in. Shit. Oh, jeez. I got it covered back here, Sheriff. I'll be right out. This guy's about to pull like a freaking fast one on me. I'm already feeling the quick time event happening. We're about to have a crazy little quick time event action happening, I feel like. Let's talk, Johan, enough with this shit. Let's just talk, Johan. 
Let's just talk. Relax, Johan. I just want to talk. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but you're not supposed to be back here for uh, safety purposes. Where is this guy? He's about to make a pull up like crazy. Uh, you're acting suspicious. Uh oh. Yeah, he's about to try to pull like Ninja Such Gaiden an innocent guy, attack you're on me. Pretty damn strange, Johan. Some freaking. I don't know what some to crazy ish. Some freaking Sekiro shadows die twice on my ass. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. They're gonna kill me. Oh god, she is gonna fucking kill me. <laughs> oh, okay, never mind. He looks like he's just doing he's whatever. He's gonna get me killed. What are you doing? Things I do. Use your legs to lift, not your back. Huh? You got hurt that way. Now, what the hell are you doing? Please, please, Bigby. Please don't. Bigby? What happened to Sheriff? Please don't kill me, Sheriff. I don't want to die. Please. Talk please or else. Me. Okay, please calm down. Don't kill Slam me. him? We'll just say talk. If you don't talk, I might have to do just that. Is that what you want, Johan? No, no, please. You don't have to do that. I'm dead. Either way. What do you they mean? They said to me, Johan, you could keep your life and lose your shop or lose both. What would you do? It, it was a simple choice to make in the moment. Easy, even they, when they got you mean Mary? The deep freeze. They? Do you mean Mary? Bloody Mary? This isn't my shop anymore. That crew took it from me a long time ago. Crew? Fuck. The crooked man's people. Jersey Devil, D and Dumb, and that mental case, Bloody Mary. Y you want to talk about the real butcher? <laughs> it's her, not me. This is her place. I'm telling you, they muscled in on me. Took over my storage and delivery a long time ago. We'll just let him talk. All cause of that heat wave. That summer was even hotter than this one. Oh, I'd let Mary and those porkers stay cool in the meat locker one day, playing cards, having a great time. I guess they were sizing the place up. Shows what I get for being nice. So I'm you just got a little a bit extorted? I don't know what they do back there. I swear. Victim, and, and we'll wanna... see. Well, we're about to see what's back there. And then we'll see if yeah, I, I don't want to, you know, he might be telling me a fake I story, you know. Happen. Didn't know when, but there would be the day. Let's put our Big ear up to it. Shh. Okay, now let's try to open it. Oh, here we go. Here's the quick time event. So what's behind door number one, baby? Damn, we broke the locks. <laughs> Excuse me. It's just like a freaking science lab, freaking Dexter's laboratory type action. I was expecting to see like bodies and stuff. Oh, and that signals run. Oh, that's what he did. So he was covering up. He was covering up. Oh shit. This guy was covering up. <clears throat> what the heck? Who was on here? What is this place? I told you, Big P. I don't know. He they does know. He's out. part of it. I don't believe him I anymore. Swear, I don't know anything more. I don't I believe you anymore, Johan. Like this. Warning lights. This business. It's all I've ever had. Did you I guess warn that's you helped them escape? They took it. Damn it. You can't act like you're forced into this and then turn around and help them. He'd still be here if you hadn't flipped that switch out there. I had to. Huh. You come in here making trouble for me. But you only give a shit now because the crooked man stepped on your toes or something. Where were you when they took this place from me? Dang. It hasn't been easy for me. You, you think I want to live with this at my back? I need Sit help. down and All shut right, up. Go, hon. Do me a favor. Just shut the fuck up and stay out of the way. Can you manage that? All right, yeah. Let's get this guy to shut his ma shut his ass up. Oh, and they got some uh, glamours here. So this is what Beast was delivering. Beast was glamours. delivering the glamours. Other kinds of magic. Could be dangerous stuff. Maybe just don't touch anything back here, please. Didn't I tell you to sit down and shut up? Got his ass. All right, guys, let's let's explore everything in this back room. Let's check out the chemistry lab set. We gotta figure out what they're doing here. What are they making here? I'm just a butcher. 
You want to talk T-bones? <laughs> that I can do. This stuff is out of my league. Tongue there of dog. There are a lot of nasty spells you can make with the right equipment. Shackles. Chains. Who's getting chained up here? You can't think I'm the only one the crooked man has under his yoke. Is this what those loans get you? That crooked piece of shit. Ribbons, chains, it's it's all the fucking same. Okay, mysterious jars. These are raw materials for making magic. Anti-Greenleaf and any other rogue witches out there probably get their supplies here. Okay. Looks like they erased something, some important information. Too bad they had time to erase it all. This could have been useful. Johan. Uh? Well, let's see everything else first. That symbol. It's on all the packages. What is it? That's the crooked man's uh, brand. Dude it's has his own freaking brand, bro. So you do know something, huh? And this that guy. A, a wheel or what? I guess they never used that thing on wolves, huh? What's that supposed to mean? It's from back in the homelands. A torture device. It came over here with the rest of our stories. Not that Mondays need Jeez, any dude's help. He's got his own freaking IG page and everything. Freaking his own YouTube channel like and TikTok. And this guy Do is, I really this need guy to is serious this? about his business. This guy is serious. Alright, well, it looks like that's about it. Let's go ahead and see what's behind the chalkboard. And, um, you know, maybe, maybe we can uh, find some evidence that they forgot to erase. Damn, nope. Looks like they got it all. Looks like they got it all. What the hell is that? Huh? Evidence. I know this isn't your coat. What's it doing here? It's a coat. What's the big deal about some dirty... Looks like cranes. Seen some abuse. Oh I'm sure shit! He it just fine. So she was torturing Crane. Yo, chill. We need him for the mirror. No time for travelers' checks, huh? We got some money. I'll just take the money here. He won't be needing this anymore. Yeah, just give me that money. That's Yo, chill. Piece of Yo, dude was on that horn dog type ish. Holy. The shard. Oh. It's the shard. Finally. We got it. Hey, hold on. Well, I'm real happy you found what you're looking for, Bigby. But what about me? Huh? Huh? <clears throat> what the hell am I supposed to do now? I'm gonna have to spend the rest of my short life looking over my shoulder for bloody. We'll find Mary. a way to protect they you. Don't care that I have <clears throat> my end. Report to the business office. Tell Snow I sent you there, and we'll uh, we'll figure something out, some kind of protection. Thank you, thank you, Chef. I got you, Johan. Just stop asking so many damn questions to me the next time I come here and say what's up. Alright, that was the butcher shop. No Mary. But um, we found the magic shard. Let's go. So we're on uh, episode 5, or we're on chapter 5 of episode 4. I don't care who killed the prostitutes. If Crane was helping himself to the community coffers, it means his hand was in my pocket. And you just let him go! I don't know what you heard, but it didn't happen like that. Are you denying the facts? Uh, she's denying me the chance to get a word in. Now, Miss White, I Sheriff Bigby has returned. Ah, there's the old family reunion here. Bigby, where have you been? I'm not finished here, Miss White. You will have to wait. <sighs> just one moment, please. There's Bay. Look what I found. Here's Bay. Seems your dog wants a biscuit. I'm not in the mood. And you've got a lot to answer for. Yeah, pipe oh, really? down, Bluebeard. Bufkin, 
Get this piece in the mirror right away. With pleasure, Miss White. <sighs> Finally, things are swinging back in the right direction. Good work, Bigby. You've been gone all day. What did you uncover? I thought you were going to report back Crane to me. Crane used to be able to find the cooking man the doors. All of Fable Town is involved. So what else did all you find of Fable Town is involved. I gotta say, this thing reaches a lot further than we thought. The crooked man has something on everybody. It wasn't just Beauty and the loan. Beast was working for him. His goon, the Jersey Devil, is putting the squeeze on all kinds of fables down at the Lucky Pawn. He was even running black market magic out of the butcher shop. But that's over now. Because we got the mirror, and once it's fixed, we got him. That's how Crane did it, and that's how we're gonna do it. All Excellent right, Big work. V. Really? Sheriff, I could use your assistance. Would you join me at the mirror? Um, I guess, yeah. Don't go far, Sheriff. I'd like to have a few words of my own with you. You burn I'm Crane shit. Why the hell did you burn Crane's stuff, huh? And don't bullshit me. Buffkin was there. I know it was you. Given Ichabod's obsession with Miss White, I thought it best to make sure that nothing uh, untoward saw the light of day. Oh, what fuck do you mean? Off. I know you were burning evidence. Oh, here's the thumbnail. Then tell me, what evidence did I burn? I have more important things to deal with right now. You can be sure that we're gonna have a long fucking talk about this when I'm done. Yeah, you I get his ass. So enjoy our talks. I'll wait with bated breath. Hold on. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I had a cough. I don't understand. This piece just doesn't want to join the rest. Do you have any idea why? You got me. And maybe it's the wrong place. Well, where did you find it? What has it gone through since being separated from the rest? Shattering is a very traumatic experience, you know. It was at so the butcher shop. this process shop. can be a little touchy. It helps that I have a good working relationship with the mirror. And I don't mind speaking in rhyme. Crane had it on him? Crane was carrying it. For part of the night, at least. I found it in his coat. It's uh, pretty amazing it's still intact after the fight, the kidnapping, and then riding around with Bloody Mary for uh, hours. Yes, Miss White was asking about her. That explains it. You know who and the mirror have a very unhappy history with each other. How would you like it if she tried to use you as a doorway? I think I already know the feeling. Well, I think I know how to proceed now. It will just take a little extra coaxing, that's all. Thank you for your help. It could be a while, Sheriff. I'll find you when it's ready. Besides which, he might not want to come out with you watching. Oh, he doesn't like being spied on. Is it fixed? Did you ask about the Crooked Man? Buffkin's still working on it. He said it might be a while. If you're so self-reliant, what do you want from the business office so bad? What I want is my business. I, I can't take those two right now. We're trying to catch a murderer, and they're... They're over there bickering about bureaucracy. We're at war. Don't they realize that? That's true. Do you need some help over there? Yeah, thanks. Go talk to Toad. But anything for so you, you know, Snow White. You can't pay him. I'll do anything for you. You really need Bruh. to leave the farm, you know. So just break the news and be done with it, okay? Damn, we're sending Toad to the farm? Yo, chill. Toad, <coughs> come here. I thought I made myself very clear. I see how it is. Passed off to an underling, eh? Why am I not surprised? Well, you did cause what damage brings me in here, so maybe it's for the best. Just need a little bit of dosh to cover it. I tried talking to her about it, but it's like chatting up a brick wall, it is. Now, I'm sure you've got your own agenda, Sheriff, but I've taken a real wallet because of you. Hey, I tried to pay you. I did try to pay him. I tried to give you money back at the Lucky Pawn, but you wouldn't take it. I was just being polite. Ever heard of it? That wouldn't have covered the cab ride home, let alone a glamour. Please, I'm not looking for any more than to cover the big ticket damages, not a cent more. I'm not looking for a handout. Just give Crane's what's money. Right. I need it, Big B. I'll give Here. Crane money. Crane won't Crane's be getting money. any use out of this. Will that do? Crane's money, eh? Well, I suppose that means it belongs to me as much as anybody. Thank you, Sheriff. 
He's if at the Toad, good glamour, Toad. Yeah, if he doesn't buy that glamour, I'm kicking now, his so ass I won't out. Be so lenient if I catch you again. You have to and the farm is it's always on the table. But of course. <clears throat> All right, Toad. We we helped Toad's problem without getting him kicked out. And now he seems happy. Blue beer. You want to talk? Now's your chance. I've just made my donation funding this office. So direct your questions to Miss White. Well, at least he's not trying to get rid of me. He's not? For now. Did you take care of Toad? Mm -hmm. I mean, I saw the way he left. I know it may not seem that important right now, but glamours are the law for a very good reason. You know that as well as anyone. He won't well, be a problem. did you or didn't you? <clears throat> I wanted to say something, but it, it went too fast. <sighs> Fine. We'll deal with it later. I know I should be asking how it got like this, but I just keep wondering why it happened to Faith and Lily. You've well, seen we his gotta find the crooked man to find out. Do you have any out. idea why he'd want them dead? I don't know if the crooked man killed them with his own hand or if it was one of his goons, but someone did. What would make a person do that? What could I don't those know, girls but I'll find done? out. I don't know. But when I catch the fucker who did this, I'll find out why. Sheriff, Excuse Miss me. White! I believe the mirror is repaired. Oh, it's done. Okay. That was fast. I have to say, I have been better. But thanks for putting me back together. Yeah, I'm yeah. I'm sorry, I just... I have to know. Mirror, mirror, we're glad you weren't slain. Now please show us that sick creep crane. Is that a good idea? Are you really sure you want to see him? All right, what's he you gonna look at? You will get crane? on that plane to Paris, and you will wait for the day the crooked man needs you. Until then, not a peep. Otherwise, I get to deal with you my way. So please, please disobey. Sheesh. Wait a minute. Someone's watching. Well, how did how does she know we're watching? What the hell? Her freak ass. <laughs> just happened we pointed you in the wrong direction and looked at bloody mary's reflection oh. oh her that explains the sting i'd rather not have to feel the pain she brings okay so let's not do that again okay looks like we'll have to track him down later you're right we need to focus on the immediate threat and that's the crooked man bigby we don't have a lot of time. All right, we'll do the mirror, mirror, with the riot, mirror, Jared? mirror, uh, mirror, mirror. No time to pout. So where does Crooked Man hang out? I don't yes! know, but that's the Crooked Man symbol on it. Hold off. What? What is this? A door. It moves. Yeah. Oh, it does move. Wait a minute. I know that door. That's Central Park. Central Park. I don't know Park? where it's going to move again, but I'm going to get there before it does. Oh, okay. Hey, looks hey, like wait. things again going to get, get crazy. The man, make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. This can't be like it was with Tweedledum. I don't care if it gets out of hand. You don't let it come to that. I know right. that emotions can run high. And you have your reasons to handle this a certain way. But we have to make a commitment Fine, to working with Snow, him. Fine, Snow, I'll bring I'll him back bring alive. Him back here. Alive. Then we can clean him and cook him together. Good. I have enough to worry about here. Only because it's Bay telling me to do that, all right? So I'm going to trust if you to it handle this her doing, If it wasn't her that saying is, that, I would have freaking murked his ass on the spot. Of I'm ready. I would have murked no his choice. ass on the spot. But because Snow wants me to do it, I will. The Gothic Bridge, Central Park, 94th Street, nighttime. Oh, we're booking it. Here we are, baby. Oh, and the symbol's still there. So we've made it. We've made it to the Crooked Man's house. Let's examine it first. That's it, all right. So we can open the door. Let's open it. Oh, jeez, yo, chill. 
Here we go. Thumbnail right here. Ah! Oh. Ah! Okay, there we go. Dang, Wolf is ballsy. Just going in solo dolo. Just going in solo dolo. Who's this? Tim. What the Tim? Hell are you Who's doing Tim? here? Good evening, Sheriff. I'm here to take you to the boss. What? Thanks, by the way. For leaving off Tiny. Tiny Tim. Who's Tim? I have to admit, when they asked me to watch the door, I wasn't sure what to expect when you came through that portal. You were expecting me? I know me? you weren't here on a social call. Hold on. You've just been waiting for me to show up? You knew I was coming? That's what they told me. I don't know, they said you made it pretty clear. I'm supposed to bring you right on in, so... What's going on here, Tiny Tim? I mean, Tim. Look, this is the one thing I have to do. Please don't make this hard on me. I'll Fine. follow you. Lead on. What's going on here, Tim? I'm not sensing the, you know... The feelings of uh, dread people normally feel when they Thanks hear about the crooked man. This is all I'm here to do, and I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> kind of comfortable. I know I'm probably the last person you'd expect to be a guard or an escort for that. You're matter. a part of this. I was a little surprised myself when they asked me to do it. I thought it was a joke, actually. You're a part Tim, of this. How can you be working here? You know who this guy is, don't you? He's not. He's not as bad as you think. He doesn't treat me like some broken little kid. I think he gets what it's like. <clears throat> he gave me a job. And I'm lucky to have it. This is the only option I've got. Just keep that in mind. Find maybe. another job. You should leave you now. Working here means you're involved. Other, you should leave now. The rest now. of Fable Town is going to get caught in the middle. And if you're here, it can't be good. So I hope you two can come to an understanding. You should leave I now. I can find the door myself. You should just get the hell out of here. Things are going to get ugly in a minute. Leave? I told you, I have to do this. Hey, you've been warned. Stick around, and you're a part of this, just like anyone else. A lot of us depend on him. Some of us never get to the front of the line at the business office. But he's there. We need you, but we need him too. What we don't need is a war. Hey, Sheriff, hold up. I gotta go in with you. Can't you just wait up, Sheriff? Hold on. Ah, uh, relax, Tim. Man, freaking shut your freaking... Thanks. Whiny ass up, motherfucker. Yeah, I'm kind of a fucking joke to you. What did I tell you, eh? Stop laughing at me. You first. Yeah. You got a job to do. I ain't scared of you. Sheriff Wolf, sir. Hey, it's Jersey Devil. And it's Georgie. And it's, uh... D. Thank you, Tim. Here we go. Our big the reveal. There he is. Accommodating sort. Could you handle the it? crooked man? Oh, well, ah! thank you, sir. I'm startled. His presence. You see, his charisma. In Fable Town has a role to fill. You just have to pay attention to what they need. He's giving off them find such it. an aura. No, I don't know, guys. Wait, let me pay attention. Why don't you have a seat, Sheriff? We have a great deal to discuss. Let's smoke. Let's smoke in front of his face. The music's getting intense. Oh! What happened? Is it the end? Oh, it's the end. What happens when we sit? I've heard stories about you. In the old days, Are they good ones? how you picked off those men one by one. Oh, how they screamed. The wolf is coming. Hey, that's me. And they would wait. Hiding anywhere they could squeeze their pathetic, shivering corpses. Some would just drop to their knees where they stood, close their eyes, 
and wait for death. Relax, you, uh, Mary. All right. It was just me in the past. <laughs> I wish I could have seen it. <gasps> What's Snow doing at the oh, wishing well? Ah. Yeah. <gasps> okay. Episode four completed, baby. So this one's gonna be a short video, guys. This one's gonna be a short video. This one's gonna be a short video, guys. So let's go over the player choices. Did you send Colin to the farm? You and 85.5% decided. Players decided Colin should not go to the farm. So yeah, we 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 let him stay. Did you attempt to remove Nurse's ri ribbon? You and 36.2% of players tried to remove the ribbon. That's true. So we saw um. We saw the stripper who works for Georgie, who was attending Lily's we uh, wedding, oh my god, no, Lily's funeral. She was at the, you know, the round table of Crooked Men's associates. Um, so that makes me kind of think that, you know, I don't know, I don't really trust the Crooked Man. I really don't. I think he's um, putting on a facade. I think he's manipulating Tim into thinking that, you know... The things that he's doing is, you know, justified. But in reality, I think it's a bad thing, you know. Um, but we can only really truly figure out until we, uh, you know, once we beat the game. So we can know the Crooked Man's true motives. Because right now, we're left on a cliffhanger. We're about to have this huge, this crazy interaction, conversation, fight. Whatever is going to happen. Just a whole freaking Super Smash Bros. freaking melee of freaking action about to happen in the next episode episode five so sheesh it's it's uh, we don't know what's gonna happen but hopefully by the end of episode five we could figure out you know at least a little bit more about the crooked man his motives his morals um if you know um he's manipulating tim for the good or for the bad you know um but i have a feeling that he's doing it for the bad i, I don't think the crooked man's a good guy i mean but we're gonna have to see. We're gonna have to see, guys. Let's continue. Um, which crooked invest? Which crooked operation did you investigate first? You and thirty six point eight percent of players went to the lucky pond first. So less people went to the lucky pond, but more people went to the butcher shop first. Okay. Did you send Toad to the farm? You and seventy three point three percent of players decided to uh, show Toad should not go to the farm. Okay. Um, and how did you respond to the crooked man? You and 43.7% of players lit a cigarette. So it was like, um, like, it was like one option to like agree with it. I know, I remember one option was the cigarette, the other one was to threaten him, and then one option was to take a seat, and then I don't know what the fourth option was, but I guess it just ends after whatever option you pick, and potentially maybe there's like, um, like, you know, hidden interactions within each individual choice, maybe. We lit a cigarette though, cause f this guy, cause I mean he's this guy's acting like he's like the freaking like good guy or whatever man. I, don't, I never even talked to this a hole. All right, so screw this guy. As far as I'm concerned, this guy's a freaking the bad guy. Freaking this freaking dick face. All right, but uh, anyways, guys, this is gonna be a short episode for today. Um, what to, what what are we at? We're at around. Oh, it's only a 40 minute video. So guys, so guys, yeah, we only have a 40 minute video for you guys today. The end of episode four, the beginning of episode five. Let's go ahead and check out what the chapter is called. Oh, and here we go, guys. This is going to be it, guys. So you see the arrow keys? We have no arrow key to the right side. So it looks like episode five is going to be the end of The Wolf Among Us, guys. So get freaking excited. Subscribe, like, comment, do all that stuff. Uh, if you haven't, because, you know, uh, this next couple of days is going to be the end of The Wolf Among Us, guys. It's going to be the end, guys. So, um, I'm glad you guys have been enjoying this series so far. Thank you guys a bunch for showing support for the videos for the, um, The Wolf Among Us series. Um, and also leaving your suggestions down below. I know so I was talking with somebody about, like, a game they wanted me to play. Um, but yeah, thanks for, you know, chatting. All that stuff. Um, so yeah, it looks like episode 5 is going to answer all of the questions that we are uh, currently still have unanswered. Um, so that's going to be good. We don't have to, you know, search and wait for more. 
So um, the next episode will surely close everything out for the story and for the whole um, Crooked Man uh, situation. So that's going to be pretty exciting. So hopefully you guys are ready for the ending, guys. I'm pretty ready. Uh, we're going to do one more short single player game series. Um, I'm not sure which one yet. I need to decide. Um, but it's going to be happening sh either a day after the end of Wolf Among Us or literally like... Or yeah, literally a day after or two days. I might like to take a day break to figure out what game to play and like set it up and stuff. But um, yeah guys, one more short single player game and then we're going to commit to a long single player game. So I wrote down a poll on my community tab. You could look at that and then answer the poll. If your long video game isn't on there, you can write something down in the comments. So that's going to be happening after the short video game. So um, yeah, once again, thanks guys for supporting the channel. You guys are awesome. Wolf Among Us is awesome. Thanks a bunch, guys. Let's run up the subs. Run up the likes. Um, and, yeah, I think that's it. Um, I guess, I mean, not really much we need to recap on. We, we you know, found the magic mirror. Um, we found out where the crooked man is. And we're here gonna, you know... Have a nice little adult conversation with them. So episode five, that's where we're gonna, you know, continue, uh, continue things. So yeah, not much to talk about. I'll see you guys tomorrow for episode five. I'm pretty excited, guys. Um, thanks so much for supporting, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.